Hey, Cindy Philippi here, and I'm going to put together a tutorial here on how to set up an a new AWeber list for your Instantly Ageless, and with the idea of setting up uh, a free sample giveaway. So what I need to do first is I need to set up a new list. Uh, if you don't have AWeber, uh, you know, this won't apply, but you have uh, if you have an autoresponder of another kind, then you just have to set it up like you know you would in there. Uh, AWeber has sign up forms, and that's what I'm using this for. So first thing I'm going to do is create a list, and I want to change this to because this is for uh, instantly ageless Jeunesse. I'm going to put down. Jeunesse distributor, and I don't want my, so this is set up right now for my online coaching and marketing business that I have. So I'm going to go grab real quick my Jeunesse address, and I do it the easy way. I just open it up and, and copy it. Uh, oh, did that take me? Okay, I did it in the same. Okay, there we go. And then I'll put that in here. And the address will stay the same. Um, my sender's name. This is what's going to appear on emails. One of the things that I do is uh, uh, create a little pop with my name so that it's not just somebody's name. Uh, you'll see when, it, you know, when somebody gets this email, it's going to say it's from me, but it's going to say say it in this way. So uh, I'm going to add a little, uh, uh, I wish we could add graphics. I'd add little eye candies or something to it. But okay, I'll do that. And then my email, I'll just leave it my Gmail account. Uh, what would you like to name your list? Okay, this is going to be uh, instantly ageless. This is just for my reference, so uh, it doesn't have to be spelled out. Free samples. And then if somebody wants to uh, unsubscribe, this brief description will show up. So we need to come up with something. Um, Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put for example. products information. Okay, we can always change any of this later if uh, you come up with a better idea. Uh, Pre-selected subject. I'm going to opt out of, uh, let's see, is it going to let me approve message and create list? Okay, this is the confirmation message. They've just change this so the screen's a little different. Um, now they provide you with canned subject lines, but I always create my own. The but you have to be very careful when you do that because you have to set it up so they they will approve it. And if you don't have all the uh, the components in it that they want, which they tell you here. They make it really clear, so it makes it pretty easy. You tell people who you are, why they receive the email, and what you need them to do. So basically, it's that uh, please confirm uh, that you would like information on free samples from Jeunesse. So 
It tells them who I am, which is Jeunesse. <coughs> Uh, confirming that they need to, they need to confirm it. So this one should fly. I don't usually have problems uh, getting it to fly. Now you can insert a personalization with here, and maybe I will do that. Let's let's insert. Oh, okay. Where's first name? Now they've got this kind of in Greek here. They're, oh, there's name. I'm going to comment a space after it. Just want to make sure I got that. Pick the right one. Oh, I want first name. I'm not sure what name means if it's the same, if it's the full name. Uh, let's go back down here and see if I can find first name. Okay, and then here's the, they provide a um, message for you already. I usually, because I want it to be more personal, I don't want it to look and sound like can, but it says, please click the link below to confirm that you'd like to receive email from, of course that doesn't read very well, so let me say from, or let's just say about, about uh, free samples and free samples of this products. Okay, and then this is their verbiage, and that has to stay the same because they provide the link. And then you can change it down here. Uh, see how they they put in my uh, my specialized name. Um, let's see here. Let me come up with something. A little bit different. Okay. Approve message and save list. So now I've got a new list called IA Free Samples. And what I want to do is I want to create a sign-up form because what you want to do is collect contact information. So I want people to actually sign up for uh, their free sample and in doing so they get on my mailing list here in Aweber and I can start sending them out more information on Jeunesse products. Okay, there's the sign up form. And then I have to pick a template. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what popular is. And because this is health and beauty, I want it to look uh, a little softer, a little real friendly, not business like. Uh, my templates, no, let's say corporate, I don't want it to be corporate. Mm, let's go back to popular and see what's in there. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I can get into the blues. Okay, there we go. That's a, a good, the good jeunesse colors. Now we need to put in a header. So let's say uh, up here for your free instant ageless sample. And we might want to add some more, but for brevity's sake, for right now, I'll just leave that here. Okay, now that's, um, we need to do something about that. That is definitely too small. And I want it a little more, it will give us a whole lot. Let's try Georgia, font 
font size 14. Yeah, that's getting better, but I think I still want it bigger. 16. All right. Bold it. I don't know. Yeah. And I think I kind of like it off center a little bit. Let's see what center looks like. That way. All right. Now we'll save that. Now we want we want their uh, let's see we want to add some fields. Okay, if we're sending them oh this <coughs> yeah we'll resize this. If we're sending this to them, sending samples to them, we need to get all the all the address information. And we need to resize. Oh, that's that. I wonder if I can resize this circle. No. All right. Now what am I doing? Uh-oh. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to play with this one because it doesn't doesn't uh, lend well to adding fields to it, so we're going to have to change it. But that's what, um, save that, and then have to add a footer. Uh, well, I don't have to, but... Uh, Be receiving your samples soon. And of course, this is. <coughs> oh, I guess I have to highlight it first. Georgia, sixteen. Center bold. And I may want to change that depending on how I actually end up using it, but to get the idea. All right, I'll fix this later uh, for sake of time. And form name, uh, IA free sample sign up. Okay, enable Facebook registration form. Um, oh, I got to think about that. I think that's if you want to add it to a tab. I can always enable that later. I'll, for, uh, I'll just skip that for now. I have, to I have to remember exactly how that works. Uh, thank you, page. Basic version. You're almost done. Activate your subscription. You've just been sent an email that contains a confirm link in order to activate your subscription. Uh, now, why is it giving me that? Okay. Open this in a new window. Uh, open this in a new window means that it'll leave the form open, but show the thank you page. I think I'm going to need to, oh, maybe I'll do a video. That would be, uh, that would, it's always good to do a video if you can do a video. So I'll deal with this later as well. And uh, already subscribed. Oh, if they've already, I don't know why they would be there if, if they've already subscribed. All right, let's take a quick look at advanced and tracking. Start on message. Welcome message first follow up. Oh, okay. All right, let's just save the form and go to step three. Now here is where you can you can um, publish your form in several different ways. You can install it yourself. Like if you've got a blog. Uh, website and you want to install the form on there. This is the HTML code 
that you would use to do that. Uh, it, here's just the same thing. It's just giving them, sending them the information if you have a web designer that you use. Or if you want Aweber to host the form, uh, here's the link for it. And I do that a lot. I put it in like emails or something and have have them just host it. So yeah. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and I'm not sure if I have to do anything. Publish, place your form. Okay, it just I just have to take and do, I don't have to do anything on this page. So there's my form, and now I can take that and incorporate it into however I'm going to promote my free samples. And then when people fill the form out, you've got them on a list where you can send them messages. And that's the whole uh, autoresponders. I could do um, a separate training on that if you're not familiar with autoresponders, but they're very handy uh, because one of the things you really do want to do when you're you're doing online marketing is you need to create a list and your list is in an autoresponder so you can send them messages and that's how you uh, build up an audience uh, you know in Facebook you build up an audience but in general in online marketing and, and any of your marketing you know you've got a list of people that and this is how you manage it because there are people that you can send, uh, you know, like the next special or new products or anything like that because they're going to be interested in it because they've signed up for it. So that's my training on how to set up a new list and a form in Aweber. Talk to you later.